Hello. Today we're going to look at what is known as the secretary problem. And the idea is this. Let's say you're looking for somebody to fill a certain position. It could be a job or some other type of position. And you have already looked at their CVs and you're pretty much undecided between a number of them. Let's say in this example, 10. And what you're going to do to decide is to interview each of them in sequence. And at the end of the interview, you're going to make a choice. You either decide to keep that person and hire them, or you decide to keep going to the next person. And the assumption is going to be that once you say no to somebody, you cannot go back to that person. So the goal is, how do I decide whom to hire in order to maximize the chance I will be hiring the best person among those 10? All right, so we're going to use something called dynamic programming to calculate this answer. So you can think about it this way. At any point in time, when you're looking at a person, you have two choices. You can decide to stay with them and, and hire them, or you can decide to keep going, right? Now, if the person you are looking at right now isn't the best so far, you probably are not going to stay with them uh, because that would be you have zero chance of hiring the best among the 10 because the one you're looking at right now is already not the best among the ones you have seen. So either that person is the best so far, and in which case you can decide to stay with them, or um, if you feel like I know they're the best so far, but still I want to look at a few more people, you can continue, all right? So there are two things that can happen. What would be my chance to get the best if the current is the best so far and I decide to stay with them? Or here in column and row four, what would be my chance of getting the best person if I decide to move on? So let's calculate the numbers in row five first because they're easier. Well, if the current is best so far and you have looked at, in this case, one person, and you decide to hire them, your chance of hiring the best person is 1 in 10, right? So 1 divided by how many there are. And in general, if you have looked at, say, 4 people, and the 4th happens to be the best so far, and you hire that person, the chance that you will have picked the best among the 10 will be 4 over 10. So I can simply copy this formula across all the way to the last person. And here you see this number one makes sense. If you went all the way through the 10 people and the last one happens to be the best so far, what is the chance you're hiring the best person is 100% because you looked at them all. You know for sure. Great. So at any moment in time, you can look at your chances of uh, succeeding, meaning hiring the best person, if you choose the one that you've seen just now, or if you decide to keep going, you're going to pick the highest of those chances, right? You either keep going or stay with the one right now. So I want to keep track of the maximum of those two chances at all times so that I decide what to do at each moment. Okay, so let me keep track of the maximum. The chance of winning if I stay with the current person and the chance of winning if I uh, keep going. So now the one that left to calculate is the one that you decide to keep going. Well, think about it this way. In the last position, if you're there and you looked at the person and they're not the best so far, you're pretty much done, meaning your chance of getting the best is over. So zero goes there, right? Now we need to calculate one of these in the middle and it's going to be a general formula that we can copy to the other cells. So, two things can happen. If you're deciding to keep going, right, it means that the one you looked at um, maybe wasn't the best so far, right? Or maybe the person was, but you still decided to keep going because you think your chances of getting the best if you keep going are higher. So think about in this position five, right? If you decide to keep going 
your chances of winning are one of two possibilities. Either in the next round, the person you will see, the sixth person, will be the best so far. Well, that will happen with probability 1 over 6. Right? If that happens, if that person is the best so far, what you're going to decide to do will be the best of your two choices in round 6. Because you can decide to stay with the sixth person or you can decide to oh, again keep going. But at least you know that at that point you have both choices because the sixth person will have been the best so far. Great. But it could also be with the remaining probability, right? Five over six chance that the person you will see next won't be the best so far. And in which case you, your chance of winning will be whatever happens if you decide to keep going, right? And if I calculate that here, and let's copy this across, don't erase that zero there, let's go back this way. Great. So now let's see what this is saying. In round one, if this is best so far and I pick them, my chance of getting the best is one-tenth. But if I decide to keep going, I have a 39% chance of getting the best person. So my choice is the maximum of the two, keep going. In round two, it also says keep going. Round three, keep going. Round four, now look, the chance of winning, if I pick the current one, assuming the current one is best, will be 40%. And keep going would be less than 40%. So at this point... What you should do is this, the keep going is not winning anymore. Therefore, whenever you see a person who is best so far, you should stop and pick that person, starting from this fourth round. So with 10 people, the rule is look at the first th three, right? Uh, actually, the first four. And at that point, Whenever you see one that is best so far, take that person. And you're going to be maximizing your chance of getting the best person. In general, if you have uh, n people you're looking at, you take that number, let's say 20. Right? You take that number and divide by uh, the number e, the base of natural logarithms. And you round this up. So if 20 people, you would look at 8 and from that point forward, whenever you see the best so far, you pick that person. And you're going to be maximizing your chances of getting or hiring the best person. And that chance um, is going to converge to 1 over E, which is 36.8% approximately. So this is the idea of the secretary problem. I hope it's... I'm going to help somebody understand that a little better and perhaps understand how to use dynamic programming to calculate this answer. Thank you for watching.